I'll take your questions. Is it a virus? We don't know. How does it spread? Is it airborne? Airborne is a possibility. We don't know. Is this an international health hazard or a military concern? Both. Are these people alive or dead? Hold them down! We don't know. Is that true? There's a man going around taking names. And he decides who to free and who to blame. Everybody will be treated all the same. There'll be a golden ladder reaching down. When the man comes around. The hairs on your arm will stand up. At the terror in each sip and in each sup. Will you partake of that last offered cup? Or disappear into the potter's bar? When the man comes around. Hear the trumpets, hear the pipers. One hundred million angels sing. Multitudes are marching to the big kettle drum. Voices calling, voices crying. Some are born in summertime. And the whirlwind is in the thorn tree. The virgins are all trimming their wigs. God, they're here. Beast. And I looked and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death. And hell followed with him. What are you doing in here? I'm looking around the area. Why are you sleeping the day away? Because I had a few beers before I went to sleep last night. Couldn't sleep. I ended up finally sleeping at four. Uh, I'm gonna go downstairs and watch some TV, try and wake up. Whatever. You're not gonna get any credit for this gets done. I'm not going to do anything if you're sitting downstairs watching goddamn TV. You know what, wait. That goddamn special ops guy is going to be here in a freaking half an hour. And you're going to be watching TV. Your point is? Go get dressed. This is our last shot at making the money. Who died and made you boss around here? I did! So you're telling me you Do you died eat? and made yourself boss? Do you want to eat? I suggest you get this presentation through, that way we can get the money and get our food. So that we can eat and then we'll be done with work for the rest of our lives. I'm just doing it for the money. They're offering us two million. We just split it 50-50 and go our separate ways. I'd be glad to go my separate ways right now, but... Get ready.
be here any minute now. Shit. Speak of the goddamn devil. You got for McCormick? Yeah. Sergeant Davis, Special Ops. What's going on? United States Army. You're here. You're here for the antidote? Yes. Um, actually, have a seat. I'm going to talk to you about something. The Special Ops Division, you know, is pretty tight about this. You know, we want to get this to the president and, you know, all the other scientists across the world because this is killing a lot of people. And, you know, cancer is, is bad. And I just couldn't believe when I heard that you guys might have the cure for cancer. I mean, we've been looking for this for years, ever since cancer became a, a big thing. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about financial issues. Financial issues. I was going to give you $2 million, which I think you already know. Yeah. Um, other than that, you guys got a pretty damn good offer on the table. You're not going to do nothing to my antidote. I have it patented. What are you going to do? Who are you going to give it to? Well, we're going to give it to one of the top scientists in the world. I have, I have heard you probably know uh, Dr. Uh, Jim Andrews. Pretty good scientist, as you know. He's pretty much well known around the world. And we like him, and we hope he's the right guy to make sure this is all tested correctly. Okay. Um, is, do you mind if I stay here for the night? Because I want to do some uh, test runs. I want to study for myself. Um, I, I would think you probably have some equipment to test this. It's probably over a lab downstairs. Okay. It's underground. Alright. Private. Oh, other than that, uh, there's more. Your other doctor that works with you. Mm, Dr. Gibbs. Dr. Gibbs, I don't fully trust him. <laughs> He's lazy. He's probably done three years work. He's probably only done like two hours. Interesting. Otherwise, he's sitting down. Now, I got a question for you. Feeding his face while we're watching TV. I got a question for you. Do you think, should we give him credit for this? That's partial. partial. How much do you want to give him? I'll give him a check. I'll give you guys both individual checks for this whilst I'm done testing it. Give him a hundred. A hundred G's. Dr. McCormick, let me tell you something. If this cure works, You will be very, very well known around the world, and you, and you will be in the publicity, in the newspapers, on TV, on the radio, you name it. Even the, probably the top Scientology magazines. Scientist magazines, that's huge. Okay. Well, well uh, you ever met a stand? Uh, yeah, sure, I'm a top. Uh, I'll show it to you. Power out? Electricity's a little low. Circuits. Everything. Touch lamp. Hey, who's been sleeping in here? Oh, uh, this has been like this. Let me guess. Dr. Gibbs. I noticed the hat. The laugh. Yeah. You went to Homestead Falls? Yeah. Graduated <laughs> Bulldog. What year did you graduate? 97. Ah. Uh. Five. I miss that school. I really do. Alright, well, so this is your room. You'll be staying here. Kitchen's downstairs. Lab's in the basement. You'll need the passwords 9257. So you should be good. And that's about it. Okay, um, could you, um, could you send Mr. Gibbs up here? Yeah, no problem. I'll have a chat with him. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm.